Hello, my name is Matthew Albert Lefebvre, and I'd like to welcome you to Islamic Art in the Museum. I'll be guiding you through my portion of the exhibit. We'll be looking at the Mushaf al Hadina. The item I've selected to discuss from the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City is the bifolium from the Nurses' Quran, or Mushaf al Hadina in Arabic. It is part of one of the most well-known and thoroughly documented manuscripts of the Quran. The Nurses' Quran, or Mushaf al hadina is believed to originate in Kairouan, Tunisia, in North Africa. The approximate date of its creation is 410 years after the Hijra, or roughly 1019 or 1020 CE. The calligraphy is written on parchment, in a new style variation of the Kufic script, using brown letters for the ink with red, blue, and green indicating the diacritical vowels. The Mushaf al Hadina is different from other Quranic manuscripts in its utilization of a distinctive version of Maghrebi script. It also bears a fascinating story of female patronage in medieval Tunisia. It was commissioned by the Zirid ruler's former governess, Fatima Hadina, and was donated by her to the great mosque of the city of Kairouan in the month of Ramadan in 410 AH. It is interesting to compare the calligraphic style of, as well as the materials used for, the Mushaf al Hadina to other handmade manuscripts of the Quran from the years roughly 900 CE to 1200 CE, ranging geographically from North Africa to the Levant to near modern day Afghanistan. The blue Quran also originates from Kairouan, Tunisia, but is roughly 70 years older than the Mushaf al Hadina. If we compare the scripts, we can see that in this time period, there emerged an evolutionary variation of the traditional Kufic style that is exaggerated and angular, resulting in the Maghrebi new style Kufic script becoming a style characteristic of North African manuscripts. An earlier Kufic manuscript from Syria or Iraq shares a more traditional calligraphic style with the Blue Quran, but with colors and materials that appear similar to the Mashaf al Hadinas. Plain parchment with dark ink for the letters and red ink for the vowel markings. Also interesting to note that while many other areas switched from parchment to paper manuscripts by the time the Mushaf al Hadina was created, the use of parchment continued in North African manuscripts. An Eastern Iranian folio dating from roughly 1180 CE uses dark ink on paper with colored vowel markings. Its elongated style is a further departure from the aforementioned manuscripts. The height of the tall letters is exaggerated and the lam alif combination forms an eye-catching elliptical shape. The Mushaf al Hadina manuscript is interesting for both its aesthetic qualities as well as having a story that carries some historical significance. I chose this piece because of its aesthetic beauty, because of my interest in calligraphy, and also because I wanted to choose a piece of artwork that could be considered to be truly Islamic. Examining a folio from a manuscript of the Quran was an obvious choice, but I decided that the Mushaf al Hadina was the best choice for me because its story carries some religious significance. Historical accounts indicate that Fatima al Hadina was formerly a captive Christian who converted and ascended to a prominent position in the Zirid court. I felt that it would be interesting to choose a piece that is relatively close in time to the life of Muhammad, but also to allow a window of time for different styles to develop 
in different locations where Islam spread. I enjoy examining the qualities of different styles from different locations and time periods. I appreciate that the colored vowel markings stand out visually while also facilitating accurate recitation, which is very important in Islam. It is both practical and beautiful at once. My first exposure to Islamic culture was through North Africa. So, choosing an item from Tunisia that had some Islamic significance, as well as a pleasing aesthetic, seemed like an appropriate choice for me. The most inspiring thing about the Mushaf al Hadina is the way it takes a traditional form and alters it. As an enthusiast of calligraphy, and also as a musician, I'm very interested in the exploration and alteration of existing forms into something that is simultaneously familiar and novel. Thank you very much. Shukran Kathiran. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. On the final slide, a complete list of sources will be provided.